This video is designed to teach you about the nitrogen cycle. Before we get into the cycle itself, there are a few things that you have to know about nitrogen for this to make sense. For starters, the atmosphere around us is 78% nitrogen, which means of all the cycles we're talking about, this is probably the most abundant thing. The reason there's so much nitrogen is because of the way nitrogen bonds together. The formula for nitrogen is N2 which means it's diatomic, it's two nitrogen molecules that are bonded together. Uh, to compare this to another commonly understood molecule, water, which would be H2O, we'll take a look at their chemical properties and the reason that nitrogen is so abundant. Uh, if we're looking at the way water is bonded together, it's one oxygen bonded to two hydrogens. Nitrogen is just two nitrogen molecules bonded together but instead of only sharing one bond, as is the case between oxygen and hydrogen, nitrogen actually shares three bonds. This makes it a very, very stable molecule, and that's why there's so much of it in the atmosphere. So even though there's nitrogen all around us, 78% of the air that you're breathing is nitrogen. We can't actually get any nitrogen out of the air because it's such a stable molecule. It's very, very hard to break this down. It takes an immense amount of energy to break those three bonds. Now there are some instances where this happens, which we'll talk about in a minute when we look at the nitrogen cycle diagram. So to get things started, we'll make this one a little bit bigger. I will just run through a few of the different steps here. The first thing to talk about is the nitrogen that's in the atmosphere, N2. Again, 78% of that is in the atmosphere. I will follow around with some of the ways that it leaves the atmosphere. One way nitrogen can leave is called atmospheric nitrogen fixation. This requires a lot of energy. Like I said, there's three bonds that hold nitrogen together. One thing that provides that amount of energy is lightning. So every time there's like a thunder and lightning storm, some of the nitrogen in the atmosphere will be broken up, and it's actually taken then down to the ground in the form of nitrates. Another way that nitrogen leaves the atmosphere is a process called bacterial nitrogen fixation. There's bacteria that lives on the roots of plants that's capable of breaking down the nitrogen that's in the atmosphere. They then make that nitrogen available to plants. So things that do this are um, like soybeans, legumes, you know, things like that are capable of breaking down the nitrogen that's in the atmosphere. Another one that we always have to consider is people. You know, people have had an impact on all the systems that we're talking about so far. People are synthetically manufacturing uh, nitrogen into fertilizer. So if you have a company you know, like Miracle Grow or something like that that's making fertilizers, they're taking some of that nitrogen out of the atmosphere as well. Uh, another process on here that's worthy of discussion is denitrification. Similar to bacterial nitrogen fixation, this process is run by bacteria. It's just basically the opposite of bacterial nitrogen fixation. Denitrification is when we're taking nitrates from the ground and returning them back up to the atmosphere. Uh, one thing that we sort of have to talk about are these things that are showing up that are chemical formulas. You know, these guys. So on this side, these are nitrates and NH3 is ammonia. Uh, technically these are nitrates and nitrites. Uh, we'll, we'll just refer to them as nitrates, which is fine. I don't want to get into the, the chemistry of too much of this beyond what we need to. Um, as far as ammonia goes, ammonia is important because this is what the bacteria are making that are doing bacterial nitrogen fixation. This is also coming from decomposition and excretion. So we've got our little goat here. As the goat goes to the bathroom out there in the field, there's ammonia in that. Uh, this is one of the reasons that farmers spread manure on fields. It provides nitrogen in the form of ammonia for plants. There are also bacteria here that break down ammonia into nitrates. So we're going to call this one uh, transformation when it's taking ammonia and then the bacteria transform it into nitrates. Uh, these nitrates are available to plants which is where we get this one, the idea of uptake by producers so it either goes up into plants or into uh, the algae and things that are in the ocean. One thing to remember is the way this is working anytime we have uptake by producers this is when plants are taking water out of the soil that has either ammonia or nitrates dissolved in that water. 
As far as this cycle goes, it pertains to all the same rules that we were discussing with the other ones. You could start at any given point, move through the cycle, and go back to that same point. So for example, you could start with nitrogen in the atmosphere, you could move down to the soil through bacterial nitrogen fixation. Uh, that bacteria could then be converted into ammonia, which could then be converted by another bacterial process into nitrates, which could then be taken up by producers, which is maybe eaten then by a consumer, where we can go from producers to consumers, back to decomposition, uh, and then from there, maybe that ammonia gets converted into nitrates again, and then through bacterial denitrification, goes back up to the atmosphere. The tricky thing about this cycle is that it's all run by bacteria. We've got bacteria here, bacteria here, bacteria here. Uh, this makes it a little less visual than the other ones. It's easy to think about the water cycle because you can see most of those steps. It's something most of you have experience with. Uh, even with the carbon cycle, it's easy to see a lot of those things. Whereas with the nitrogen cycle, it's a little bit more difficult because the bacteria makes the process a little more abstract. The key to remembering this is just that the bacterial nitrogen fixation is taking the nitrogen out of the atmosphere and then denitrification is what returns the nitrogen to the atmosphere. So I hope that helps clear up this process a little bit. As always, thank you for watching.